Now before I show you how to install fonts, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you recall in an earlier training video, when I open up a word processing program like WordPad, for example, I come down here, click on the Start button. If it's not here in your uh, most recently used programs list, it's right there, WordPad. I'm going to click on All Programs. You go to your Accessories folder, click on it to expand it. And down below within that folder is the WordPad. Click on it to open it up. And then when you type in any text, by default, the font here is Calibri. If I want to go ahead and change it to another font type, go ahead and select the text. Click on its drop down arrow, and you get a list of, well, various fonts. Go ahead and choose the one you want. I'm going to choose Broadway. Click off in a blank area. Looks good. But when I click on the drop down arrow and I scroll through here and I don't find the font that I like, let me click off in a blank area. You can go ahead and purchase some fonts either on the web or from some store that actually sells fonts. And then in order for that font to be listed in the font list here, either in WordPad or other word processing programs, you have to install the font. So to install it, let me go ahead and close out of the program here and not save it. Just bring the fonts and put them in a folder either on your desktop or I have mine in my exercises folder. There they are, fonts, double click, open it up. And what I have to do is I have to take them from my desktop or in my exercise folder, the fonts folder, and actually move them into the computer's fonts folder or Windows 7's fonts folder. It actually has its own fonts folder. So to find out where that's at, go ahead and click on the Start button. Come over here to the Control Panel. Remember the Control Panel controls the operations of your computer, both hardware and software. So go ahead and click on it to open it up. And I'm going to come up here and double click on the header bar to maximize the window here. And you want to come up here and click on the Appearance and Personalization link. And then down below, there it is, Fonts. Go ahead and click on Fonts. It takes me to the Fonts folder and it shows me all the fonts that I have installed on my computer. Now in previous versions of Windows, like Windows XP or Windows Vista, when it came to installing fonts, you either went up to the menu bar or over here in the task pane and it had a little link that says install fonts. You won't be able to find them in Windows 7. So the only way that you can install fonts is by clicking and dragging those fonts into the folder here with all the other fonts. And to do that, I need to resize my window so I can see a part of my other folder that's down here on my desktop here, my folder there or I can just select them right here and drag them over here, but what I want to do is come up here and restore the fonts folder for the computer, not confusing that with my own fonts folder that I created on my, well, within my exercises folder here. Click and drag those so I can see them side by side. Then all I have to do is go ahead and click on this one. To select both, I can hold down the control key and click on the second one, and then just click and drag those over here, and you can see it's going to make a copy of them in the fonts folder, let go, and if they're already there, you can see it's hidden behind this window. Let me click on it to bring it to the front. It says it's already there. Do you want to replace it? Now, if this is the first time you're installing fonts and it's not there, it won't say that. So you can go ahead and install it. I could say, no, I don't want to replace it. And then it gets to the second font. It's kind of slow installing, so you want to be patient. At least it is on my computer. Do I want to replace this one? I could say yes or no, but if it's already in there, I'll say no. In any case, it'll go ahead and if it's not installed, it'll install them for you. Then you can go ahead and open up WordPad, click on the fonts arrow, and be able to find your fonts. In this case, it would be um, Helvetica and CO, I'm not sure what that is, and, and Helvetica CRG. And of course, over here in the fonts folder, it gives you a little preview of what the fonts look like, as well within the fonts list in WordPad or any other word processing program. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.